My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. I do anger management with, with a lot of people, particularly guys in the workplace, good guys, they just have a bit of an anger problem. They might shout at people or break things or, or do things which they later regret. Things that can hold their careers back, uh, can damage their relationships and just make them less happy. Also on a personal note, these are many things that I've found that have been helpful for myself as someone that was an angry young man and these days it's certainly a lot better. So you can get quite psychological and go to therapy and look at some very complicated theories about anger. However, I've found there's certain things that just help, certain practical things that help myself and most of the people I work with. Um, first one, let's look at the physical factors. So whenever I work with anyone, I'll ask, how are you sleeping? A lot of people are sleep depriving themselves. It's a form of torture. Is it gonna make them angry? Yeah? Maybe they're eating loads of chili, uh, caffeine. Like one guy I worked with, I couldn't work out what, is, what the issue was, and it turned out 10 cups of black coffee a day. That will uh, stimulate your adrenal glands, make you more likely to anger. Yeah? So the physical things take care of those. There are others, uh, alcohol use can, can increase it as well. Other things, so take care of the physical basics first of all. Next up, self-kindness. Every single guy I've worked with who is angry, bar none, when I've looked at how they think has been really hard on themselves. Of course, what they're then doing is practicing being hard. They're practicing being a bit of an asshole to themselves, which then comes out to other people when they have the same sort of hard standards. So being kind to yourself, what you tell yourself, how you think, absolutely massive. Okay, next, let's look at where anger comes from. So sometimes people will say things like, you made me angry. Um, this is inaccurate. We, in fact, always make ourselves angry. So to be clear, something may be a stimulus out in the external world. However, it's our thinking that produces anger. Specifically, if we think in terms of moral judgments, and uh, what someone should or shouldn't have done, how something's bad and wrong, those kind of um, judgments and labels we put on other people in the situations, that's when we get angry. Yeah, it's the, the judgment or the attachment to something being different from how it is that makes anger. That's what produces the anger. Um, for that reason, the practice of letting go, of forgiveness, of looking at one's moral judgments and just look at returning to the facts actually helps people let go of anger. Um, critically here is the self-responsibility for it. Next, a couple of practical things you can practice, really useful things uh, to, what do you do when you get angry? Well, centering, breathe, balance your posture, relax your core line, be aware of your body, feel your back so you come back rather than forward, relax your body. It's very hard to be angry and relaxed and open at the same time. It's just not possible in fact, it's a different physical state. So learn to recognize what anger is like in the body then learn some centering, grounding, physical techniques to come out of that. We've got loads of videos on centering. If you search it, you'll find it. Another one, last of all, great antidote to anger, metta. It means uh, loving kindness or universal friendliness. It's a Buddhist meditation which uses a kind of antidote for aversion, anger, hate, the whole spectrum. Uh, if you M E T T A, if you Google it again, you can find free resources online for metta and meditation. Uh, so these are practices which can really make a quick, easy difference. Um, so if you're someone that gets angry, uh, I highly recommend practicing some of these things. Of course, anger is healthy anger, boundary setting. Anger has its place as an emotion, it's not bad. And if it's starting to um, affect your life in negative ways, you might think about putting some of these things in place.